Hi, I'm Ben from Freemiss. Welcome to another episode of the Experts Corner. Today, we'll cover the question, how do you manage scaling your team in a quickly growing business? Enjoy. Hiring is hard. Finding the best talent is even harder. We learned that personality is a key and we educate our people internally very actively. This is part of our culture. This helps to create a family-like organization and helps a lot with the churn rate. Don't compromise on employees, you know, hire fast, fire faster. That's not a cliche. If you have an employee uh, that you're not feeling right about them, um, something is not working, it could be really toxic to your company, it can be frustrating for you as a company's leader, uh, and it can also impact the motivation of the entire team. Uh, so it took me quite some time to learn that and also, uh, you know, have the balls to do it, especially if you know the person in advance, but that's really important. Build a nice culture with clear values that you live up to. And when you hire, make sure to hire smart people that are aligned to your values. You don't want to hire too many people at once. Onboarding just takes a long time. So for example, uh, a support person takes for us three months to train fully. Uh, an engineer to understand the complexity of our project can take six months to one year. So you don't want to have too many people at once to train. When you grow fast, you sometimes have roles that you haven't accounted for. Uh, therefore, uh, you do need to kind of mix a few hats together from your org chart and relinquish some responsibilities from different team members to build a role. You know, it's an uncomfortable process of trying to figure it out and uh, uh, you're going to do this, I'm going to do that. What are the right KPIs? And it's all kind of, it, it creates a lot of uncertainty, which is not nice when you're joining a new company. Uh, the team where new employee will work onboard him on their own. Of course, we have some basic concepts for onboarding, but uh, besides that, the team is free to do whatever they want. And this helps a lot with uh, making our employees happier. They get a dedicated mentor who will take the new hire into our workflows in a gradual and natural way. This way, nobody gets overwhelmed and we gain deeper engagement. When you hire people and you scale your team, the onboarding phase is really important. So it's like welcoming someone at a party. You want to introduce him to your friends, make sure he know like where the drinks are, uh, if, et cetera, et cetera. So it's that initial phase of onboarding is critical for someone to feel at home. We are using Asana as our project management tool. So we created a set of templates for different personas in our company. So we have one template for uh, for a marketing person, another template for a developer for support starting from logistical stuff like you know setting up your email environment uh, your development environment etc uh, then to the training and so on we actually over the years started and recorded uh, sessions training sessions about code about marketing etc from my experience i would say keep the process very simple and assign specific roles to specific people this way there will be no time waste and no overlap and the training onboarding process will be very efficient. What uh, sometimes happens is that the people that started left, but the people that came after them already had a, uh, uh, you know, a set uh, a role uh, that they can jump into. So it made like it, it, it was a lot more sm a lot smoother uh, with the second person that came into the position that was built on the first person. Before you look into scaling your team, it's worth considering the tasks that you could automate within your company. For example, automating code reviews, product deployment, or even ensuring that you've got high quality documentation. Automate everything. You need brain power to grow a business. And if you use that power to do trivial tasks, it won't get you very far. If you're finding your support load overwhelming, then it's definitely worth considering companies like Level Up, found at levelup.support. They offer you support as a service and they can scale with you. And they also provide all the training and the hiring process of finding support people suitable for your company. Doing it this way is going to save you a lot of headaches in the long run. Give ownership, trust people and support them. Let them make decisions about how to handle work. Good leaders need influencers. 
For me, it's really important that every team member will know how to properly explain the vision and the mission of the company. You know, when they're talking with their friends, when their family is asking, hey, what do you do in your new job? So it's really important. Uh, and it's also a great marketing opportunity for your business. So make sure that your employees really understand your true vision. And another thing that is important uh, in our company is that everyone will understand our unit economics and our financial goals. That the way that everyone can kind of uh, be aligned towards where are we heading for.